Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the John Beershin Show. I am play-by-play -play voice Kendall Grayson, joined as always by head coach John Beershin. Uh, coach, since we last spoke here on the show, your team is 3-1 and one with a 1-1 one and one split against the no number 19th ranked team in the country, Liberty, and the 2-0 defeat of Auburn last week, 10-0 on Friday night and 8-3 on Saturday. Uh, so if you could, let's just recap those games and what your team was able to accomplish the last four uh, games that they've had. Well, and, and you and I personally have talked about this throughout the last couple of weeks. Ever since we came back from Christmas break, I think we've done a really good job of having good practice habits, and you can see that that's translated into the game. I think having the, the long break kind of just helped everybody just refresh their mind and then soak in everything that we've kind of learned and talked about throughout the, you know, the first few months of the season. And you can really see it just all came together when we first came back from, from Christmas break. And you know, I've been really proud of the guys, the way they've just executed things in practice. And, and small practice habits that you don't really think about where it's, you know, uh, the, the other day, the, you know, us as a coaching staff had to start throwing in more drills because practice was moving so quickly. And, you know, when pr somebody misses a pass, the guys are paying attention in line and they're passing each other pucks. So, you know, you see little, little habits like that. You know, obviously you always want to see, you know, work ethic and stuff, but when there's little things like that that you see you know those are the things that are most proud and then you can kind of see that stuff kind of translate into the game those character things and, and you can see that in, in Liberty even though we lost the first game to nothing I think the guys it was one of the top five games that we played all year and then it kind of you know kind of ramped up the second day on Saturday night and you could really see how successful the guys were so that kind of translated into the Auburn weekend as well and uh, you know now we're three and one since we started back uh, since Christmas time. Coach, going back to last weekend, it was a great atmosphere here at the Pelham Civic Complex. Alabama won their 19th consecutive game over Auburn. But a lot of great things happened off the ice and contributed to such a successful atmosphere here in Pelham. Well, you know, Brian Ogden, Dane Sena, Lauren Gerard, Hannah Weeks, you know, all the off-ice staff, uh, you know, your broadcast staff did a phenomenal job of putting on a really good show for – uh, around what 2,500 people, 3,000 people over the two days. So, uh, you know, we were really proud of you guys and the way you executed things. But like the, a few ideas, like the social media captain that uh, you know we kind of started this week, uh, we were able to acquire that. You know, Sam Fleming did a really good job of setting up Funny Main to come, and that was a big success Friday night. We really appreciate uh, again what the Tampa Bay Lightning have done to kind of help us, you know, give us information on how things like that work. Matt Salmon, you know, we uh, we definitely appreciate everything that you've done. So. You know, you see kind of that success, and I think that was executed really well. Funny Man did a really good job of interacting with the crowd, did a really good job, you know, uh, on social media kind of playing up, uh, you know, uh, everything about our, our program and, and the game. And so, you know, that kind of translated well to Saturday night and, you know, doing 50-50 and, and all the interaction that we had. You know, the, the ticket line was, was extremely long, and uh, it was – it was pretty packed in here, especially Saturday night, and Dane Sena and them did a really good job of just getting that line moving quickly and efficiently and get everybody in into the arena before the game started. So I, I think it was a really big step forward for our program in terms of game operations. We put a lot of planning into it and a lot of new things that had to be executed, and they were executed uh, to, to near perfection. Well, Coach, last week some of the Alabama hockey staff members and players went out and supported uh, some of the other sports on campus. Could you tell us a little more about that? We know that the team did that uh, last fall as well. Well, Friday morning we went out and supported the equestrian team. Uh, James Benedetto and I, uh, who's got a big equestrian background himself, and went out and supported the equestrian club. Um, you know, we went to swimming and diving senior day on Saturday morning before our second game against Auburn. And you know, I think we've we've tried to do as good of a job as we could uh, as time allows because we all have our a pretty busy schedule here with the hockey team. But you know, we went to volleyball first semester. We've gone to soccer. Um, I, I know we're probably missing some things. We've gone to women's basketball since they've started up. And, you know, I think it's just really important that you support, uh, you know, all the other athletic teams on campus. Uh, you know, I like referencing studies a lot. And studies show that probably one of the most important things in terms of relationships is how you support other people and their accomplishments. And actually, if you go even into more studies, sometimes it's more important how you celebrate people's accomplishments than actually how you fight. So you, you sit there and you kind of take that into consideration. I think it's extremely important that we try to get out and support those uh, other athletic programs and other club programs as much as we possibly can. And you know, I've been really proud of everybody kind of getting out and doing that because I think it's important. 
Last year, Alabama split with Navy here at the Pelham Civic Complex. One win and one loss on the weekend. That's the next opponent for Alabama coming up this Friday and Saturday. Uh, so, Coach, it's an exciting matchup for Alabama, but specifically, you know, how important is it for teams to go and not only to play the service academies, but support them as well? Well, you know, anytime you play any of those service academies in any sport, whether it's Navy, Army, Air Force, uh, you know, one, one game that I've always wanted to go to, which, you know, I've never had the chance to, is the Army-Navy football game. You just kind of see the, the festivities and all the celebration around it. And, you know, you, you obviously appreciate everything that they do for our country and are going to do for our country, you know, representing us at, at really the highest level and the most important level. So I think it's going to be a really good experience for our, our guys to kind of go up there. They have an on-campus arena. So to get kind of see the atmosphere and the excellence that they portray there. So I think... Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a really good experience for our guys, and we're really looking forward to it. Thanks for watching this week's edition of the John Beerson Show.